Route 66 traverses over 29 tribal lands, and its immediate predecessor in the area was the Atchison Topeka Santa Fe Railroad. Instead of selling land rights to the railroad, Laguna Pueblo traded land access for jobs for Pueblo members. We are celebrating the Laguna Colony Days Festival in Winslow, Arizona. These are two days of celebrating the Laguna culture as well as the Laguna Colony that was affiliated with the Santa Fe Railroad. But what happened was that the officials over at Santa Fe met with the governor of Laguna and said, we need your land. A verbal agreement was struck and it's called the Flower of Friendship. Uh, this was during the 1920s. So what happened was in return for the land being used by the Santa Fe, jobs were distributed among the Laguna people. So men and women from the Laguna Reservation were relocated. Route 66 went right through the city of Winslow. And the Laguna Colony was on the west side of town, right next to the railroad tracks. Our boxcars were set up right there. And uh, very nice boxcars, apartments. My parents were members of the Santa Fe Indian Band. That was part of the colony. Back in the early 1920s, the manager, uh, Charlie Erickson, was with the group and wanted some kind of music being played at the picnic. So there was a small group that began by just picking up, a, I believe it was a trumpet, a bass horn, and a dented peck horn. And so the Santa Fe Railroad just decided that they would be their sponsors for them to be a professional group to travel from coast to coast. My father, Tony Lefty Sayo, plays the big drum here. My mother, Louise Riley Sayo, was the band carrier for the Santa Fe band. And as a child, I was with them, so I am standing waiting for them on the side here. My folks bought me a clarinet, and I started the elementary band. And then when I transferred into the Santa Fe band, the clarinet had to give that first note and, and, and tune them up. Uh, so that's, I felt that I was important. We traveled to the powwows in Flagstaff and Gallup in um, August. There was these powwows that went on because we paraded. And then in November, we were the host band for the Arizona State Fair opening day. I really enjoyed it. This photo I have in hand was taken in Washington, D.C. in uh, 1952 when we were there for the inauguration of Eisenhower. Is in front of the Department of Interior. We were uh, chosen for the state of Arizona to participate in this band, and I was then only about 13 years old. And it was a long parade. It was kind of exciting because it was all Indians, and, and the men folks started doing the war hoops. <laughs> when the band went to the Gallup Ceremonial or the Flagstaff Powwow or any place to perform, uh, we were right there with them. And it was such a big influence in my life that I remember thinking, when I grow up, I'm gonna learn how to play every one of those instruments. So I went to college and became a music teacher.